Bless them more, bless them more, the long and the short and the tall. Bless all the sergeants and W.O. On the 3rd of September 1939, Britain's Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain declared that subsequent to Germany's refusal to withdraw its troops from Poland, Britain was now at war with Germany. In the full expectation that larger cities, and especially its ports, would be prime targets for Nazi bombing raids, the British government embarked on the largest evacuation program in the history of England. Over three million, mostly children, were evacuated away from the cities and ports to rural areas throughout the country. Some were sent as far away as America, Canada and Australia. Ray Evans was just six years old at the time, so it's easy to understand why he would have had a hard time adjusting to being separated from his mother and other siblings. Although most host families welcomed and treated the evacuees well, there were some who simply took children in for the extra rations and the small government stipend they received for taking them in. Unfortunately for Ray, he initially found himself billeted in homes where he was often mistreated and sometimes left to go hungry while his host family kept his share of food rations for themselves. He ran away from his first three billets in spite of the scolding he knew he'd have to face from the billeting officer as she realized she would once again need to find a place for him. When things finally did make a turn for the better, Ray still ended up moving through two more billets before he found a real home. As the war escalated and people began to fear an imminent German occupation, one family made the difficult decision to move to Canada for reasons that Ray couldn't begin to understand, once again leaving him and his billeting officer in search of a wartime home. Finally, the Williams family took him in and gave Ray a real home from home he was able to spend his remaining evacuation experience well cared for in a genuinely loving home environment. Don't be misled though, this is not a depressing tale, but it is an inspiring one. Even as a six-year-old, caught up in a war he can't comprehend, Ray developed a fierce tenacity and unyielding spirit of optimism that stayed with him for life. In Before the Last All Clear, Ray delivers his early life story in a relaxed conversational style and you're invited to join him for the ride as he describes forging through a life begun in adversity, facing challenges head-on, yet without hesitation. He sums up his early life experiences saying this, Evacuation made me grow up quickly, but my six years in exile taught me two things, to always look for the bright side of every situation and to never allow the lows in life to get the better of me. This is Ray's personal invitation to you to receive the first two chapters of Before the Last All Clear. Just pop your email address in the box and we'll get them right out to you.